Hi everybody, macroeconomic equilibrium occurs where aggregate demand equals aggregate supply. The problem is though, there are so many different ways of showing aggregate supply, meaning there are numerous ways of showing macroequilibrium. In this video, we're going to cover all those different ways of looking at the classical model and the Keynesian model. Let's go straight to the classical model. Classical economists believe that there are two types of equilibrium. We have short-run macroequilibrium and we have long-run macroequilibrium. Short-run equilibrium occurs where AD equals SRAS but does not equal LRAS. There are two ways of showing that. This diagram here and the middle diagram here are both short-run equilibria. Let's look at this left-hand diagram first. You can see that where AD equals SRAS is not equal to LRAS. We're producing Y1 in the economy, not YFE. This deviation must be a short-run equilibrium according to classical economists because we're not at YFE. In the long run, this will not persist, we'll get back to YFE. This is known as a deflationary gap, or a recessionary gap, or a negative output gap. They all mean the same thing. I cover those concepts in much more detail in my output gaps video in this playlist. Go and have a look at that for further detail. And we can also look at it in this way, where AD equals SRAS is not equal to LRAS. We're producing an output level in the economy which is greater than YFE, and that cannot persist in the long run. In the long run, we get back to YFE. This is known as an inflationary gap or a positive output gap. Again, my output gaps video covers that in more detail. How on earth is that possible? Well, remember what YFE is. YFE is the maximum level of output an economy can produce using all of its factors of production at sustainable levels. So it is possible to produce beyond YFE if we use our factors of production unsustainably. So for example, we use labor unsustainably. They're working overtime too much overtime, they're going to burn out. If we use capital machinery 24 hours a day, that's unsustainable. That, again, will burn out or break down. So it's possible in the short run to produce there, but in the long run, it's not. We're going to be back at YFE. So this deviation must be a short-run equilibrium in the classical model. Long-run equilibrium is when AD equals SRAS. Crucially, it also equals LRAS. So you can see what that looks like here, where AD equals SRAS is equal to LRS, i.e. the economy is at the full employment level of output. Bam, there are no gaps here, deflationary gap or recessionary gap, negative output gap. Here, inflationary gap or a positive output gap. No gaps here, we are at YFE, uh, where AD equals SRS is equal to LRS. The Keynesian way of showing macroeconomic equilibrium is so much easier. Remember the Keynesian LRS curve looking like that? Wherever AD cuts it, that could be a long-run equilibrium in the Keynesian model. So where I've shown it here, AD cuts LRAS, we have Y1 and P1, even though we're not a YFE, according to Keynesians, that could be a long-run equilibrium. If I drew AD on the vertical part of LRAS, that could be long-run equilibrium where we are at YFE. But if I drew AD here on the horizontal part, right, that could be a long-run equilibrium too. So for Keynesian uh, economists, wherever AD is on the LRAS curve, that is macroeconomic equilibrium and that can persist in the long run. So very easy showing it there, different interpretations in the classical model. That covers macroeconomic equilibrium. Stay tuned for the next video when we look at shifts of all these different curves. I'll see you then.